here is my ISC machine. Okay, and then here is the room. All right. Okay, um, I will first talk about the rationale. So my patient number one um, has a hamstring strain and we want to apply the gait control theory. So essentially what that is, is we want to depolarize a delta fibers and by depolarizing a delta fibers, we stimulate a non-noxious stimuli and we stimulate the a beta fibers, which then are myelated and smaller, so they're a lot quicker than the AE delta fibers, and they get to the spinal cord quicker, and they reach the inhibitory inner neurons. So they stimulate them, and they, they're they the ones that close the gate and block the A delta fibers from passing to reach the brain. And what that does is, for us is it actually decreases our pain level by having that nice, fast pain relief through that non-noxious stimuli. So that is the rationale and we can get started. Good morning, Mr. Miotel, how are you doing today? Pretty good, how are you? Good, my name is Monica. I'm a student physical therapist assistant and I'll be working with you today. So I know that you ran our marathon recent, recently and you had a right hamstring strain on that medial side, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what we want to do today is kind of help that pain relief and uh, what is your pain right now on a scale of 1 to 10? About a 6. About a 6, okay. So I want to try an IFCF, an IFC, which is the interferential current. So what they do is I have these electrodes and it's going to be hooked up to a machine and I'm going to place four electrodes on you and they have two channels. So these two channels cross, cause this interferential current and pretty much to simplify it, it causes this non-noxious stimuli. And by having that non-noxious stimuli, it's gonna be this like tingling sensation. You actually have, um, it causes you to have like a decreased pain. Um, so would that be something you sure. wanna to try today? Okay, perfect. And just to confirm, I know that last session we did a sensation test with you and we did the L2, L3, S1, S2, and everything was intact with the fast pain, vibration, and light touch. So we are good on that. And I looked at your chart and you don't have any type of cardiac disease, pregnancy, or uh, pacemaker, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then of course no impaired sensation because we did a sensation test. Good. Okay. Um, we could pretty much get started. Um, do you have any other questions for me about the IFC? No. Okay, perfect. Um, can I just have you lay on your stomach? Do you want a pillow or anything for comfort? No. Okay, perfect. Right. Here's my IFC machine. Bringing it to my patient. Okay, and then Mr. Mantel, can you, oh, you already did. <laughs> you just roll up your pant line for me. And oh, uh, before I place my electrodes, um, I'm going to just apply this wet washcloth on you just to um, get rid of any like dirt or anything so we can get the electrodes um, a nice adhesive stick to it. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to apply my electrode one, channel one. So I'm just going to find your medial condyle right here and I'm just going to go about two inches above that on the medial side. And then Mr. Miotello, just to confirm, you have a pain right around here, correct? Yep. Okay. So then I'm gonna apply electrode three, which is my channel two, and I'm gonna just go two inches superior from electrode one. Okay. All right, so now I have channel one, electrode two, and then I'm gonna go about two inches lateral from my electrode three. Okay. And then my last one, electrode four, channel two. I'm gonna find my electrode one and just go about two inches lateral from that. So essentially what we have is the two channels crossing. So we have channel one right here, channel two right here, and then cross, and that's what's gonna cause that interferential current. All right, so now I'm gonna turn on my machine and 
and I have it for interferential current, sweep on, uh, beat low frequency at 80 hertz, beat high frequency at 150, my vector scan is on at 100%, my carrier frequency is 4000 hertz, and my constant voltage I want on for constant voltage, and then my treatment time I want it for about 20 minutes today. And then before I start the machine, Mr. Mutello, I'm going to turn on that intensity. So the intensity is going to be, once you feel that like tingling sensation, let me know. And then I'll leave it at that. And then that's what you're going to have for about 20 minutes, okay? Good. Okay, I'm starting my intensity. And then you let me know when you feel that tingling sensation. Right. Right here? Okay. So that's about 40 milliamps. And now I'm going to start it. And before I leave you. I want to double check this real quick. All right. And then how does that feel right now? Feels good. Good? Okay. So I don't see anything abnormal with muscle tone or skin integrity, so that's good. And then Mr. Miotello, I'm leaving you with the timer, which is 20 minutes, and the bell. So let me know if you have any questions or any concerns or if anything feels abnormal, okay? Good. Okay, and I'll be back to check up on you in five minutes. Okay, five minutes go by. Okay, I'm just gonna check here your electrolyte placement. Nothing's abnormal for the skin or muscle tone. All right, and then is the intensity okay for you still, Mr. Miotel? Yep, okay. Okay, so 20 minutes later, end of session. All right, everything looks good. I'm gonna turn off the machine. Mr. Miotel, I'm just gonna remove these electrodes from you. check the skin. Skin looks pretty good. Okay, and nothing of an abnormal with muscle tone or skin integrity. Okay, that is the end of that. And Mr. Miotel, do you want to come into a sitting position? All right, how do you feel now on a scale of one to ten with pain? About a four. About a four? Okay, that's good. So your pain decreased. Um, do you have um, any questions about IFC today? No. Okay. Um, do you have any other goals? No, just get better. You just feel better? Okay. That's fine. All right. So it looks like we have everything that we need and we'll probably incorporate that for our next session. Okay. Okay. Great.